Welcome to the rocket profile of Firefly Alpha, the rocket that rose from the grave. Firefly Alpha from Firefly Aerospace was originally designed to use a unique pressure-fed aerospike in its first stage with the goal of launching small payloads to low Earth orbit. However, the company went into bankruptcy in 2017 and the project was thrown into upheaval. The result was a complete redesign with the first stage now using a conventional bell nozzle instead of an aerospike and pump-fed propellant instead of pressure-fed, though the pumps are driven by the relatively rare combustion tap-off cycle. That was first successfully tested in 1969 on the J2S engine and currently also used on Blue Origin's BE3 engine on the new Shepard. The combustion tap-off cycle takes gas from the combustion chamber to run the turbo pump, but this complicates the starting of the engine and also requires the turbo pumps to be built to deal with very hot gas. The first stage of Firefly Alpha has four Reaver 1 engines, each producing 184 kN of thrust and vacuum from kerosene and liquid oxygen. The original Firefly was supposed to use methane instead of kerosene, but that was changed as part of the redesign. The engines burn for 2 minutes and 45 seconds with a specific impulse of 295.6 seconds in vacuum. The second stage has a single Lightning 1 engine providing 70.1 kN in vacuum, also from kerosene and oxygen, for 5 minutes and 15 seconds. It has a specific impulse of 322 seconds in vacuum. The rocket's body is made from carbon fiber composite material to make it light and efficient. It is designed to carry 1,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit or 630 kilograms to sun synchronous orbit. On its only launch so far though, it aimed for a highly retrograde 137 degree inclination for safety. That launch attempt failed due to an engine malfunction 15 seconds into launch. The launch continued for two and a half minutes as the rocket systems attempted to compensate for the lost engine, but ultimately lost control, so the flight termination system had to be activated to destroy the rocket. It had no chance to reach orbit with an engine out so early, but as with the failed Aster 3 rocket attempt, which occurred only a few days before, the extra time allowed the rocket to clear all facilities so that it could be safely destroyed. Firefly Aerospace is slated to attempt a launch of the rocket again early this year. With that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of Firefly Alpha.